Um, alright guys, um, I'm just going to cover a really short little thing, um, link constraints. I've covered them before, but somebody was asking about them this week. Um, I've got like 10 minutes to kind of just go over them. Um, I've not posted in a while. Um, I've been really busy like moving house. Um, me and my girlfriend's had our first child and things are going awesome and I've had work to do and I've oh, just, just not really been doing much in terms of like tutorials and stuff <coughs> but I've been getting a lot of of mails and, and things like that and when the when's the machinima coming out and when's this I've not had time to even work on the machinima to be honest um, but yeah link constraints link constraints really simple um, basically a link constraint it allows you to kind of link an object to something else and it lets you unlink it somewhere in the scene and then link it again and then unlink it again and then link it again if you're just using the kind of link tool that's up here then it's kind of limited because you know only do it once um, so what I'm going to do is just show you this link link constraint um, so what I've done I've just made a quick animation of uh, just a, a you know a guy throwing a ball and catching it um, pretty simple animation it's like 50 frames so I'll stick it down yeah okay so it's a, yeah it's a, it's a really simple animation I've just made um, because the question I had uh, about link constraints was actually throwing a ball and catching it um, so yeah this is how it's done so ignore the animation I'm not going to show you how to do the animation that should be fairly straightforward um, so I've, I've created a ball and my animation my uh, my hand goes kind of just just basically up and down with a bit of hand animation there. Um, so what I've done is uh, I'll just uh, I'll just show you. Just get rid of delete that, delete that, delete that. So this is just a ball. Just pretend I've just created this ball. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going posi to I'll position the ball where I want it, which is kind of about here. Initially want it. Um, see the, the animation on the ball as well. Okay, so I want the ball round about kind of out here. That'll do me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to animation at the top, go to constraints, and I'm going to add a link constraint. And when you get that, you get this little line. So you're going to point that to your wrist, uh, to your palm. So I want to link it to the palm. And you'll see if you got the ball selected, you go in, into motion. You'll see that a, a whole new window has came up which is the link parameters. Now this tells you that I've linked um, the ball to the palm on frame 0. So anything from frame 0 will be linked to the palm. So you can see that it's completely linked to the palm onwards. Um, but anything before it, it won't be. But there's no animation before it anyway. Um, okay, but I don't want it to be kind of linked to the palm all the time. I want it to leave the palm. Um, I want it to leave the palm kind of about um, frame, say frame 5. So what I do is I scrub to frame 5 and then I link to world. And this is basically, it's unlinking it from the palm and linking it to the world on frame 5. But it stacks, it's a stacking system. So from frame 0 it's linked to the palm until it gets to frame 5 where it links to the world see so I want it frame 5 links to the world his arm goes down and then he comes back up to catch it it's round about round about here I want him to catch it frame 24 so on frame 24 I'm gonna add link and link it to the palm again now it, these can be these can be changed you can just highlight one and change the time the frame here um, so if you see now it'll kind of unlink and then it'll link back to it. So that's it. That's basically it. That's how simple it is. Now the the ball animation is completely separate and up to you what you want to do. Um, if I wanted to do a ball animation, I could just uh, it unlinks at frame five. So I want it to start at frame five. Um, okay, so I'll add a position. I'll add a, a position. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. A position key right there. So I want it to go up and it catches it there. 20, 
was it 24 he catches it so I want it to be round about here roughly in the middle that I want the apex of the throw so I'll just stick it up here he's going to throw it quite high so it's going to go way that might be a bit too slow but we can alter that in uh, tangents so then back down I don't want to catch it here the reason it's going off on one because it's linked it links to the uh, to the wrist at frame 24 so whatever the f whatever the wrist's doing it's going to follow that so I want it back down here at frame 24 um, so I'm just going to have it there again so whoop throws it up and then catches it there you go so that's how simple it is uh, if you're doing a th ball throwing up and down or whatever you can make it a bit more believable by highlighting the position frames going into your line uh, your graph editor and we want to do that on frame on Z axis. And we can just make the tangent a bit more a bit a bit you know, I think a throw would be up and down with acceleration. Um so it'd be kinda like yeah, it'd be like that. Yeah. So now if we if we kind of play it there we go. Still not still too much but it's, it's not you know it's not perfect it's not throw it's not a perfect throw you just mess about with your frames and have a look but that's a that's just a quick link constraint tutorial um so yeah I hope that helps people um, the masses of people who's been emailing me saying link constraints how do they work um it's really that simple um so yeah uh look out for a few tutorials that I'm gonna I'm gonna do as soon as I can as soon as I get time basically um at the minute I'm running. Um, 2011 I'm just if if you've not had a chance try to get hold of a student version of 2011 because uh, it is amazing it's it's like a different application it's got so many things in it and um, there's no point in me doing a tutorial or a, a review of it because um, Autodesk have got some wicked videos of all the new features I mean there's painting features there's a new material browser um, which is like the tree system which this is it's like a new material, create a new material, and uh, just create, and it's it's kind of like this. It's it's pretty cool, and of course, of course, there's a new render engine as well called Quicksilver. There's loads and loads of stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I recommend getting it. If you've got 2010, it's a massive step up from 2010. I'm lucky because I bought 2010, and because I subscribe, I get the uh, 2011 for free. So that's me. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Um, Feel free to post any comments or anything. Uh, good luck. Bye.